Judges alma mater will get things going for real Friday night when this year's group of Diamond Dogs open up their season against UC Irvine. Much of last year's offensive firepower is gone, but some solid pitching does return from a team that came within an eyelash of making it to a Super Regional. Their opening weekend showdown with a solid UCI team will be a good early litmus test. History will be on their side Friday as the Bulldogs have won 11 straight season openers. I, I didn't know that, um, but maybe that means we're preparing right. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully we make it 12. Um, I think you know, just the fire of everybody that comes out when we come out, everybody's just fired, ready to go. We're, ti we're kind of tired of just, you know, scrimmaging each other every day. So now it's kind of we have somebody else in the other dugout. We're all super excited, man. Like I said, we've been looking forward to this moment for the past four or five months. I mean, every practice, every warm up, every run in the morning leads up to this moment. So we're excited. In honor of Friday being Valentine's Day, you can get in for free if you wear pink to the game. First pitch is set for 6.05. The Diamond Dogs will face one of the toughest pitchers they'll see all year on Friday as they get ready to, for Trenton Denholm. He's a junior righty who was an All American last year and was also named the Big West Pitcher of the Year. He finished with a 1.81 ERA and held his opponents to a 178 batting average. Denholm will face Jaime Arias, who's a Mountain West preseason all conference selection. Meanwhile, Across the street, the Bulldogs softball team will be playing in its home opener on Friday with a doubleheader at the Fresno State Kickoff Classic. They'll face Cal Poly at 5 o'clock and then Fordham at 7.30 at Margie Wright. For me personally, when I'm pitching, I love looking back there and just taking it all in and seeing that we have a packed house and you're playing under the lights, which I don't think many baseball or softball players will argue with you. There's no better feeling than that. And so knowing that you have all these people here for you and for your team, it's, there's no feeling like it that I've played anywhere else. Yeah, it's a special place. The Dogs are 3-2 and two on the year and had close games with number 7 Florida and also 17th ranked Michigan. That's your look at sports. I'm Julia Lopez for Sports Central.